An ultrasound is a powerful medical imaging technique that uses sound waves to create images of structures inside the body. It may be used to view a fetus in a pregnant woman, and it can also be used to detect and diagnose different kinds of cancers. Specifically, a doctor may request a breast ultrasound if the results of a mammography exam are unclear or suspicious. Ultrasound is very helpful in many situations. One situation would be if we have identified an area of concern or abnormality on another imaging study, and that may be a mammography exam or even a breast MRI. Another way that uh, breast ultrasound is useful is then when a patient has identified an area of clinical concern. She may be feeling a lump or has identified an area of focal pain that's concerning her. A third way that breast ultrasound is very helpful is that it allows us to guide a needle into a finding that we've determined to be concerning enough that we need to biopsy it. In that way, we can look directly as we're putting the needle in there and convince ourselves as well as the patient that we're accurately sampling the tissue in question. The ultrasound machine consists of three main parts a handheld detection device known as a transducer, a computer that processes the sound waves, and a monitor that shows the images. It is different from mammography and other imaging techniques that use x-rays to create an image. Instead of x-rays, ultrasound uses high-frequency sound waves. With breast ultrasound, we're using sound waves to construct the picture. So what we do is place the transducer on the skin surface overlying the area that we want to look at. We send sound waves into the tissue, and those sound waves are going to hit tissues of varying consistencies. When they do, some of the sound waves will bounce or reflect back up to the transducer, and it's that returned information that we use to create or construct a map of the type and location of the tissue in that area of concern. Ultrasound is a very safe exam that requires no special preparation. You can begin your day as you would any other. Once you arrive at the exam center, you may be asked to put on a gown that allows the technologist easier access to the area of interest. Ms. Jones? Yes. Hi, I'm Trisha. I'm the ultrasound tech. We're going to take you back and do an ultrasound. Okay. Okay, you're all ready? Yes, ma'am. You may also need to fill out forms about your family's medical history, and you should definitely inform the technologist regarding any previous imaging tests, areas of pain, okay, or concern. We're get started, so if you'll take your right arm out and you will then be asked to lie down on the exam table, and a gel will be applied to the skin above the area to be imaged. The gel increases the amount of signal from the transducer that penetrates the surface of the skin, thereby producing the best possible image. The technologist will then press the transducer firmly against your skin and move it over the area of interest. The transducer emits sound waves that travel through the body and reflect off of internal structures. It collects the reflected waves, which depending on the characteristics of the tissue encountered, bounce off in different ways. The ultrasound unit then processes the reflected waves and produces an image that shows the type and location of structures in that area. During the exam, you may be able to see a screen displaying the images that your doctor will evaluate. Once the exam is over, you can remove the gel and resume your normal daily activities. Ms. Jones? Yes? Hey, this is your result paper. Sign right above where I did. When examining an ultrasound image for cancer, radiologists look for the following characteristics. Malignant lesions generally have irregular vague borders and are often star-shaped with spiked finger-like projections. Other features include enlarged ducts or unusual tissue structures. On the other hand, Benign lesions are generally round or oval-shaped and have well-defined borders that are easily distinguished from the surrounding tissue. While an ultrasound is good at clarifying positive findings resulting from a mammography or clinical breast exam, it does not replace a screening mammography. The two imaging techniques are used together to obtain a more accurate diagnosis. Also, because ultrasound is somewhat operator-dependent, it is important to make sure that the physicians and technicians performing your ultrasound are accredited by the American College of Radiology. You can check the accreditation of a facility near you by visiting the American College of Radiology's website. Remember, ultrasound, like any other medical test, is not 100% accurate. Cancers may go undetected and benign masses may be falsely interpreted as possible cancers. Therefore, it is always important to pay attention to your body and seek professional medical advice for anything suspicious or concerning.